Hi, my name's Pinky and I'm here to introduce the Rosaceae family to you. The common name is the Rose family. It's a medium-sized family of flowering plants with over 4,000 species, including herbs, shrubs, and trees. They're mostly perennial, but there's some annuals. They consist of a fibrous taproot and a fibrous adventitious root. The stem is woody or herbaceous with thorns, spikes, and prickles, which deters herbivores from eating the plant. The leaves are alternate leaves, although a few species do have opposite leaves. They're usually oval in shape with serrated leaf margins. Typically, there's stipules that present themselves at the base of the leaf. The flowers are a complete, perfect flower, usually with four to five separate sepals and a similar number of petals or petals in multiples of five. Most of them are insect pollinated and produce fruit with non-endospermic seeds. Common throughout most of the Yukon and widespread throughout Alaska is the Rosa Ossicularis, also known as the prickly wild rose. It is a woody shrub that stands about one to five feet tall that has thorns on the stems. They have alternating leaves with three to five leaflets that are smooth on top with a fuzzy soft underside. The flowers are fragrant with pink petals, five petals to a flower, and many yellow stamens in the center. Each flower bud is protected by five greasy, green, fuzzy sepals that dry and turn brown as the fruit matures. The fruits are firm green rose hips that develop to orange or deep red in the fall. You can see one starting just back there. They get much larger. They are firm green and after the first frost, they soften and ripen to a soft orange or deep red. They begin to wrinkle in the fall and that's when it's time to harvest. Some may even remain on the plant until the following year. Inside each rose hip is a soft, sweet pulp surrounding many hard, hairy seeds. They can be eaten raw, but I'd avoid eating too many seeds because they can make you ill. Um, oftentimes, they are boiled, mashed, and strained for syrups, juices, and jellies. You can also save the rose hips to make rose hip teas. They can be stored frozen or dried. I have some dried rose hips here from last year's harvest, along with some petals that I harvest this year to dry for teas as well. The Rosa Ossicularis has rose hips that are high in vi vitamin C. They are actually the highest vitamin C content of any rose hip in the world. Three rose hips is the equivalent of the same amount of vitamin C as in one orange. They also include many other nutrients in the rose hips, including calcium, iron, magnesium, niacin, phosphorus, potassium, protein, selenium, zinc, and vitamins A and E. And while the rose hips are most commonly consumed, the petals, the peeled stems, and the roots can also be consumed for nutritional purposes. The Rosa ossicularis is not only a beautiful wild plant in Alaska, but as with many plants in the north, a very useful one as well.